Hey, Bill here again from CRZ Forum. Just finished up uh, some extra work here that I've done on my car PC. Wanted to kind of show it off, let you guys see the update. Uh, so everything is in the dash now, as you can see. Um, the, the biggest difference here is I've got the little buttons all set up. Um, so I'm gonna show you what that does now. Uh, so I'll use the button over here. I'm gonna start some music, and I can now use this to control the volume. I'm still working on getting some other functionality in there, as far as going to the next track, and uh, play pause, that sort of thing. Uh, up on the screen here you can see some other stuff I've got. So the first thing, uh, the big box there, that's a scan tool. So the the uh, the car has an OBD2 port uh, that's onboard diagnostics. Every car since like 1985 or 1995 or something has them. This is a Bluetooth version, so I have a little Bluetooth reader, and then I just have a little wireless. It's it's, it's this tiny little box that plugs in under the dash, and then I can scroll through here and see a bunch of stats on the car. So it shows engine RPM, vehicle speed, um, I'll click through here. Wrong button. Or is frozen. <laughs> there we go. Anyway, there's some uh, random information in there. Um, barometric pressure and junk. Nothing that really interests me, but it's there. Oh, it looks like it's not refreshing properly. Anyway, so I've got that running. I also have a GPS module here. Uh, you can see that it shows my latitude and longitude. So you can track me down there. So that's the main stuff. I also have the Wi-Fi, but I've had that working for a little while now. Um, I guess I can show you a little program that I wrote. Um, oh yeah, this is actually kind of fun. So, uh, so I've been working on this little program. Um, oh, so, so one of the things that the Arduino does is that it controls the the amp on signal. So the amp itself only has audio going through it when you give it a signal. Uh, for testing, I had originally just set it up to have the uh, the, the on uh, the accessory on you know signal from the car, and that was fine except for while the PC was loading up, you would get pops and hisses and stuff. So it doesn't do that anymore. Um, and the reason it doesn't do that is because if I if I have this running. I'll turn this, uh, I'll have it disconnect. Actually, let me zoom in here, you can see what I'm doing. So I've got it connected up to the Arduino here over serial. So if it's not connected, after about 10 seconds, it'll stop playing audio. And you'll also see it turns the screen off. And so when I first jump in the car and hit the button, the or you know start the car, the screen stays off until the PC is turned on. I've got a little override override switch here, so I can flip it back on. That might be a little bit difficult to understand the way I just said it, <laughs> but basically there's a little uh, relay that's controlled by the Arduino. And anytime it's connected up, uh, I'm sending it like a signal that says, hey, the computer's ready. And I do this every second or so. And the Arduino, so long as it sees that within every 10 seconds, it will keep the relay uh, switched over. And that relay controls the amp on signal and it also controls the LCD power. Uh, it also controls the power on 
uh, the reverse camera. And some, it does some other stuff too. Yeah, it's part of that power relay box. But so long as the thing is connected up, which I'll do right here, so long as it's connected, it just crashed. <laughs> okay, so the reason it crashed because I went to the wrong port. Let's try that again. This is one really handy thing about, uh, there we go about uh, having a full-on PC makes diagnosing things really, really easy. I'll turn this off. There we go. So, so long as this program is running, it's constantly spamming the Arduino every second, saying, hey, I'm on, hey, I'm on. And that makes sure the sound comes on. The other little thing, wow, and I really had a poor selection of colors here. All right, so you see this, there's a blue line and there's a red line kind of coming out of the screen. The blue line is my accelerometer signal, and the red line is the digital compass. So the digital compass is currently pointing north, um, which is, that's the correct direction that it is, or pretty close to it. The, the blue line is, um, it's longer than it needs to be because I haven't, calibrated it because as you can tell um, let me zoom out here as you can see the screen is actually tilted back a little bit and the Arduino is sitting flat on the back uh, so because of that it's picking up um, some of the you know acceleration some of gravity uh, so it makes it look like it's got um, a value to it uh, and there's lots and lots of fingerprints so let me show you what happens here. I'll, I'll zoom out so you can see the hula girl at the same time. So I'm just gonna shake the car. You, you see the little blue line jump all over the place? You're probably seasick now. I'll try that again. So you see the blue line jumps all over the place in sync with the hula girl. So you can see I'm rocking the car. Um, so the the reason I'll have that, it's, it's neat for you know diagnosing things I can say oh I took that corner at 2 G's or 1 G whatever uh, but I'm actually the main use is so that I can detect uh, if I'm in a car accident or if someone hits my car while I'm not there um, it can send me a text message or you know email or start start recording the video that kind of thing um, oh there's one more thing that I rigged up which is uh, so the cars is a you know the thing is on here. If I pop this into reverse, the screen will automatically switch to the reverse camera, and it's mirrored right now. I don't know why. Uh, so this is actually in software. So I'm in Windows. You see, there's a, there's a mouse cursor right there that you can't clearly see. The mouse cursor. So this is in Windows. And it's just displaying the backup camera. Mouse, mouse cursor. Um, so this is something else I rigged up too. So this way while I'm driving, uh, like once the computer is on and ready to go, I can pop it in reverse and then pop it out and it goes right back. It also switches just insanely fast. Um, way faster than waiting on the, on the video uh, monitor to switch back and forth. So I can show you here. You know, super fast. Ah, so I think that's just about it for today. Got a lot of new stuff coming. Keep them busy. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.